Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex, the comic Order. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video. Today I have seven books going off to be pressed and cleaned by He's Got Freaking Issues and then straight to CGC for grading. I want to show you guys what these books are, get a rough estimation of how they sit right now and what grade I give them. And then in a couple months, we will see what they come back as. Hopefully you guys are excited. Here we go. Speaking of graded comic books, just want to remind everybody that Shortbox is the premier marketplace for buying and selling graded comic books. I'll have a link in the description below for this free app for both Android and iOS users. The comic book industry is exploding right now and it's super exciting to be in this comic book hobby right now and watching it and participating in it as it unfolds, as these books are just absolutely going through the roof. I'll be sending off seven books to get encapsulated by CGC to ensure their grade, to ensure their value that's associated with the grade. I'm gonna be giving you a close up of these books and right now I'll highlight which ones I'll be sending off to get press cleaned and then graded by CGC. The first book is this great Steranko cover. This is X-Men number 50, the first cover appearance of Polaris. Then we have Daredevil number seven, the first red costume and a great Great battle between Namor and Daredevil. This is one of the nicest copies of New Gods number one I've ever had, so I'll be sending this off to get graded. This was a book off of my 2021 want list. This is Captain Adam number 83, the first appearance of Ted Kord, Blue Beetle. This is a pretty nice condition copy of the Tomb of Dracula number one, great Neil Adams cover, and I think this will be pretty high grade. I found this one in the suitcase. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 14, the first appearance of Green Goblin. And last book I'll be sending off is this Captain America number 100. Really great big premiere issue and a book that I've always loved. I think this book is pretty solid as well. Really excited to see what this one comes back as. All right, let's take a close-up look at each one of these books. This is the Captain America number 100. As you can see here on the corner box, there's a couple color-breaking spine ticks. The top part looks pretty good. Just a little bit of color breaks here and there as the book was probably dented or you know thumb through at one point there's this little blue thing right here where the black didn't really take all the way as i look in the inside cover i don't see anything bleeding through so really nothing suspicious there just looks like the black ink didn't take all the way or maybe rubbed off just a little bit then you've got just pressable defects all up and down this book looks pretty darn sharp even the bottom corner just looks like it just needs a little bit of a pressing there flatten out that corner uh, same as the bottom edge there and then you've got a little bit of grime here right under Captain Captain America's arm right there and another one maybe down by Black Panther's uh, yeah shoulder there it looks pretty darn good looks like a 6.0 6.5 from the front cover I've seen books look worse now here on the back cover is where I'm really concerned it's got some foxing I think 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 that might ding the book pretty well so if this book you know appears to be a 6.5 maybe even uh, you know a dream of 7.0 I think that foxing might take it down to about a 6.0 hopefully not lower than that so I'm, I'm hoping and guessing 6.0 on this copy now here's the amazing spider-man number 14 the book looks pretty good there's just some reader wear uh, honest reader wear pretty solid copy top corner has some color breaks there not sure if that would clean up any with a cleaning but just some honest wear there's some uh, creases there as you can see the light catches those little wrinkles there that can be taken out in pressing front cover looks great a little bit of a blunted bottom left corner on the spine with a little chunk missing there staple looks to be a little bit uh, torn at I think each staple honestly yeah this top one has a little bit of uh, issues there front cover looks like a 3.5 4.0 to me honestly it's a it's a great book here's where the issue is on the back cover so we'll take a look at the bottom edge here looks pretty good just a little cleaning a little just a just a slight press can help this book out drastically then you go over here to the top a uh, little spine roll as you can see but then down here this these tears and these folds are the folds are uh, rectifiable but i think that tear is going to probably bring it down to 2.5 3.0 this tomb of dracula number one is a really nice high grade there's a little bit of stuff there at the top corner i think can be helped with a press top edge looks really good overall just needs a really you know a nice little press i think this book will look good a um, little bit of a dent there at the top right corner cover looks great has a really nice gloss you can see the lights shining off of of the cover with that gloss bottom corner just needs a little bit of a press there on the corner um off-centered of course top to bottom and then here's where the my major concern is 
uh, just a little bit of dent and little color breaks right there. The, the, the press will help the dent, but the color breaks will remain. There's a little bit of an indent right here, and I think that'll look better with a press, you know, really nice press there. Front cover looks like a 9.0. I'm really hoping for a 9.0 on this book. Back cover looks like it just needs a little bit of a cleaning and pressing. There's a little bit of a corner crease there, but uh, I don't really feel like it kind of breaks color there. And it'll be easy to conceal that with the white cover. Then down the spine looks pretty darn good. Just needs like an overall cleaning. Absarine would do pretty darn good on this book. Uh, staples looks like it has a little bit of staple rub there. Bottom corner just looks a little dirty. I'm hoping for a 9.0. Would really be uh, sad if it was anything less than a 9.0 on this book. Because ultimately it looks it looks great. 9.0, anything over that I'd be thrilled. Now here is Captain Adam. Number... 83. This one I'm really hoping for like an 8, uh, 6.5, excuse me, it has a lot of um, pressable defects. As you can see in that top left corner, there's a pressable defect, there's a pressable defect, and in that top corner could just really benefit from there. All the pages are really secure in this book, just like a the poor wrap job, I think, the poor quality control. And these books are really hard to find in like super white pages. Little corner crunches on the bottom corners. So there's a corner crunch that could be improved with the pressing. And there's a little color break there. And then on the back, you'll notice that spine side corner crunch. Just looks like it needs a, a cleaning. But these Charlton books are hard to get without like that tanning issue going on that browning. So there's a little corner crunch there. There's that browning that I'm talking about. It's just hard to find Charlton books in my experience without that it's the paper quality i think so there's just some pressable defects as you go down the spine i'm really hoping like i said for a 6.5 on this book corner crease could really benefit from a pressing and same with that one i think that'll look really good with a nice press 6.5 hopefully now this one i'm guessing about 7.5 i've never had a new gods number one look this good there's a little bit of issue there on the staple as you go up it's pretty darn nice. There's a little bit of a crease there that could be, uh, you know, rectified with the press on the G. Then probably a little bit of a crease there on the corner as you go along the top. It's pretty nice. Pressable defects there on that corner. As you go down, there's a little bit of a crease there on the W that could be rectified with pressing. And then nice gloss on this book. There's, it's so busy, it's hard to find. The background in this space is so busy, it's hard to find errors on this book and then the bottom there another pressing could do this really make it look good the, the front cover looks like a 7.580 to me i'd be really happy if it was anything above a 7.5 crease there on the side a good pressing will help that and just some pressable issues a little bit of a blunted corner there at the top as you go down the spine it looks really nice just pressable defects as you can see all these cumulative press pressable defects if they get rectified, I really think this book could get, you know, 7.5, 8.0. Really hopeful on that one. Now, this one I may have overgraded, but I've seen 6.0s that look worse than this. So I'm, I'm thinking, you know, initially I graded this one at a 6.0. A lot of these color-breaking spine ticks, they look pretty tough. They look pretty bad. But like I said, I've seen, I have like Green Lantern 76 that has those sa same issues, and it got a 6.5. So you know you can't always compare apples to apples but this one looks like it has a lot of pressable defects a little wrinkling honest reader wear and i think that this one could really benefit from the pressing and i think it looks to be about that 6.0 6.5 i mean like i've said i've seen worse corner or a little crunch there that could use a pressing then you go up the spine or go up the uh, book opening edge and it looks pretty good there on the left just needs a little bit of a cleaning. Here is an overspray. Now that goes through the entire book. Obviously, it's a production thing. So either production thing or newsstand thing. But, it, you know, I, I don't think they're going to take off too much for that because it's pretty common. And then just some pressable defects. Really hoping for a 6.0, 6.5. Would be really happy with either of those two grades. And I think it has a chance. Now this one is the last one. It looks really good. Uh, that's pretty much the main flaw right there is that corner crease, that color breaks. This is X-Men 50, the first cover appearance of Polaris and a great Steranko cover. As you go up the spine, there's not many issues on the spine. 
It's a great looking book. There's a little bit of pressable defect right there, maybe a little bit of color break, but it really just screams like 7.0, 8.0, you know, 7.0 to 8.0. Just even the way that it sits. I'm, I'm thinking 7.0 the way it sits after pressing, pressing and cleaning. Now on the back, you have this issue. It looks like it touched another comic with a, a nasty staple. So I'm not sure what's the deal with that. Then you've got this one. Um, looks like it needs a really good cleaning there. I don't think Absarine will do that edge you know, justice, it'll, it'll really help, but I think, a, you know, a light white um, eraser would do that edge good. Really hoping for an 8.0 on this book. I think it's got a chance, but um, this one, it, it looks really nice. And that is how I see the books as they sit today before pressing and cleaning and before grading. If I'm overgrading or undergrading, let me know. If there's things you see, let me know in the comments below if I'm missing anything or if you have a different opinion on these grades. But I'm really excited to see what they look like. Typically, I give about a range of what I think they could be. And then when I get them back from CGC with the grades covered up, you know, mystery for me, I give them another grade. And that's when I'm a little bit more accurate because that's how the book will be in the condition that it is after pressing and cleaning and grading. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Also, uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Welcome to the channel. Hit that bell to be notified when there's future videos and the CGC unboxing a couple months down the road. If you did like this video, please hit that thumbs up and comment down below what you thought of this. Hopefully you guys are well, and I'll talk to you all on the next one. See ya, bye.